Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how super easy it is to install Super ATV's heavy duty skid plate on this Can-Am Defender. As you can see, we have our machine flipped over on its side. You don't have to do it this way, you can do all this installation from the ground, but for filming purposes, we've done this. The first thing that we're going to do is go through and drill out all of the rivets. You'll see the diagram here. So once you've drilled your rivets to the point to where they want to start spinning, you'll take a punch. You can fit inside the center section of the rivet. You'll punch out the center section of them like that. And you'll just continue going around and knocking all the centers out of each of these rivets. See this one right here? Knock it through. And you'll just continue going through here, knocking the centers out of them. May need a couple different size punches. And they'll get loose like that. And then whenever you go to pull your skid plate off, it'll come right off. And this is gonna take you some time. You just gotta continue, go through, Drill them all out, then knock the centers of them out, and then remove this factory skid plate. Other than that, just go through and continue drilling all your rivets. So the last thing we're gonna do to remove our rear portion of the skid plate is remove this push pin, as well as this push pin down here. We'll go ahead and remove the lower one first. Then we'll just remove our rear skid plate. We'll take our push pins and we'll set them aside as well. Then we're gonna grab the rear portion of our skid plate and start getting it installed. Next, we're gonna remove our clip nuts out of our hardware kit. We're gonna install them right here to the rear deflector. You'll just line it up right where we removed the push pin from. And then we'll do the same thing down here on the bottom. You just wanna make sure that the threaded portion is going towards the inside. So next we're gonna grab the rear portion of our skid plate and we're gonna go ahead and get it installed. I'm working by myself today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my skid plate in position where I want it. I'm just gonna take a marker and mark the center of the hole on one of these bolts. So I'm just gonna lift it up, get it nice and centered where I want it. That right there looks pretty good. So I'm gonna mark a hole. I'm gonna go ahead and run a self tapper through this hole right here where I put my dot. And that way I can just lay my skid up there and run this one in. Get my skid plate. All right, once we have one of our self tappers in, we're just gonna go through. Just kind of continue to install the skid plate. As you can see, we have a hole right here. We'll go ahead and shoot one right into this hole. So down on the bottom where we installed our clip nut, we're gonna grab our threaded bolt that's provided in the hardware kit, as well as a bowl washer. And we'll go ahead and install it right to here. We got our clip. Once we have that bolt installed, we're gonna grab the upper portion of our rear section of our skid plate. And we'll just line it up with the other section of the skid plate here like this. We'll go ahead and we'll take one of our self tappers and the bowl washer. I'm gonna go right for this hole right here. And 
건네서 Then we're going to grab our threaded bolt as well as a bowl washer. Go ahead and get it installed into our clip back here. Just like that. Then we're going to go through and make sure that we have a bowl washer and a self tapper in the rest of our holes on our rear sections of the skid plate. And we're going to go ahead and move to the center section. So we have the center section of our skid plate here. The end with the flat is going to go towards the front of the machine. And this end back here is going to go towards the rear and it's going to mesh up properly against this section. So we're going to take it, we're going to lay it up into place. We're going to get it all lined up and shoot a self tapper in. Keep going through here, making sure that our skid plates lined up properly. We're just going to continue putting screws in. We'll do this all the way along the top and bottom side. And this is what your skid plate should look like up to this point. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our passenger side piece. It's going to look just like this. Really the best way to tell is just to take it and lay it up on the passenger side of your machine. You want to lip it into the bottom section as well as the top. So we're going to go ahead and find a hole, a factory hole in the machine. So it's nice and easy to get in. We're going to go ahead and shoot a screw in. We're going to shoot one in the front and we'll come back here to the back side shoot one in here as well. That way it holds itself into place. Then we're just going to continue going through and installing our self-tapping screws. And then on these top ones up here, what I'll end up doing is probably just taking a drill and drilling it. Once we have our holes drilled, we'll grab our self tappers. Now we're gonna grab the driver's side, side piece of the skid plate here. We're just gonna lift it up into place. I like to go ahead and just shoot a screw in it. So we'll shoot one in it there, hold it in place, and we're just going to go through and fill in all the holes just like we did on the top section. Now we're going to install the front portion of our skid plate. It's going to lay up here just like this so that the opening sits right in the center. So it looks like we're gonna be shooting our screw right through this hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-tap it just to make it that much easier on me. So we'll just go ahead and lay our skid into place. And I'm just gonna put one screw in it and then we can align the rest of the skid plate off of this one screw. And we'll go ahead and we'll shoot our rear screws in here, the factory holes, just like that. And do the same thing right here. We're gonna go ahead and pre-drill this hole right here in the center so we can get our screw to go in a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and shoot our last screw in. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to install Super ATV's heavy duty skid plate on this Can-Am Defender. 
For more information on this skid plate or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.